Hello, in this video I'm going to cover browser stack for website development testing. So I've already logged into my account. Now this is normally the first screen you see and and that will depend. If you've already been in another place sometimes it'll default back to that to that area. Th this screen right here, let me let me show you the the different areas. I'm the areas I'm going to cover are live testing, which is right here. I'm going to show you the screen here, but I'm not really going to go into it. This is a little more advanced than, than this video. And then this also would require an upgrade. Um, not going to cover testing mobile apps. And then we'll look at screenshots and responsive. So if you're coming off a a new site development that you want to that you want to test initially this is probably a good place to start rapidly test your website for cross browser compatibility across 1100 browsers so I usually stay stay from Windows 10 above initially and then um, you know the later versions of everything just to just to get a feel for it Let me uh, select some uh, select some random. This is an an exact science. Some sometimes they time out in the testing process, and it's not on the real device. They won't. So let me generate some screenshots. Let me pause this while we're doing it. Okay, you can see here it's generating the screenshots, and this timed out. So you know I would probably want to look at this. Um, I don't, when you're doing the live testing, it seems to work well. Sometimes when you're going through the screenshots, some, sometimes it does, uh, sometimes it does time out. So I see two of them have timed out, Windows XP, Firefox. So I'd probably want to look at that, uh, run back to, oops, let's close this out, run back to the live testing. And when there's issues, you know, I find browser stack is, is, definitely 95 percent plus accurate but there are times where nothing is going to be as good as the real device so and then we have this which is responsive uh, design testing across all devices so you're able to oops the parallel limit is reached So that's the, that's the, the two I use the most are the initial testing, which is oops, which is the screenshots to gen, generate a, a a slew of ideas of, of how it's displaying across the devices, and then pretty much on spot testing. So if someone says, "Hey, I'm having a I'm on a Mac right now, I'm having a problem in." You know, in IE, you know, an earlier version of IE, let's see, XP. Like, let's go with 8, like, with IE 10, then I can jump back in here. It signs me into a, basically a virtual machine and allows me to test. There we go. Test to see what it would look like on this device. it's not so bad so anyway yeah that's the basic so just keep in mind that um, there are other there are other areas that, that browser stack offers but you, you'll find that the the biggest two for website development anyway biggest two is live for on-spot testing and then the screenshots for that works great for right when you are completed or think you're completed with the with the site development and, and to get a an idea for on multiple browsers and devices at once. So thanks.